Thanks for checking out this video on how to modify the Vivitar 283 into an adjustable variable output flash. This video runs just over three minutes. I made a longer video that covers the same modification but at a slower pace at just over 18 minutes. To watch that video, just search for its title which is the same as this video with the word long replacing the word short. First you take off the auto thigh wrister off the front of the 283 and then using a small screwdriver take off those two screws right there to get the bottom piece off the thigh wrister comes in three parts bottom middle and top okay so there I am pulling the bottom part off to expose the wires notice the black and red now undo this middle screw it's at the bottom of the middle piece and you'll see what I talk about the top piece there I set it down now there's the middle and the bottom piece with the two wires now clip the wires from the middle piece and here's basically how it all works those two wires will attach to the middle and the side contacts of the potentiometer and there's a quick schematic okay I went ahead and replaced those two wires because they're really thin I just used some speaker wire and then I put it up through the middle part put the two screws back in now I'm soldering the wires in place. One wire, it doesn't matter which one. One wire goes to the middle lead, the other wire goes to one of the sides. Now I'm going to stick the thigh wrister part back in, and that's basically it. It's now a variable output flash. I do a couple test shots. One test shot, and I adjust it, and another test shot, and it did work. There I'm cutting off the arm of the potentiometer to make it short. Now, right here is where I, um, I didn't show how I made that little black box that I contained the potentiometer in. But what I did was I used a little bit of um, acrylic, sheets of acrylic that came out of this picture frame. that I got at Hobby Lobby for just a buck or so. It was really cheap. So I cut out a bunch of pieces, um, I measured it out, and I made a little box, and then I painted it black drilled a hole in it and put the pot up through it and I just painted it black and then I glued it on with um, JB Weld and then I made a gauge around the outside of the potentiometer with the with the dial and as you can see it goes from 1 through 17 I don't have a whole lot of rhyme or reason why I made it 1 through 17 I made two marks uh, a zero so to speak and then a maximum and then I just made a mark in between. I halved it, and then I halved those two, and then I halved each other mark until I got down to kind of a reasonable gradation of marks. And it turned out to be 1 through 17. And that's pretty much it. Now I'll run through a few test shots here. All right, there's with no flash. There it is on 17, now 16, and 15, and so on. And you can see the flash slowly increase.